Hello there. I'm, oh, dearie me. Right. Um, I'm Harry Watts. I'm 18 years old. I was a year 13 student at Monk's Walk in Hertfordshire, which is where I live. This is a map of Hertfordshire, essentially, on my, um, I've just pinned it to my wardrobe, hence why I'm not wearing the nicer shirts, because I couldn't get into the wardrobe to actually get a nice shirt out. Um, I live in Welling Garden, or more specifically Oakland, which is right around here. But yeah, you've got St Albans, Harpenden, Wee Hampstead, so gives you a bit of an idea of where I'm from. I don't know if you can really see that. But yeah, as I say, I was a year 13 student, um, and I hope to go to Bath Spa in September to study geography still. Coronavirus permitting, of course. Uh, apart from the videos I'll be making, which um, I hope will put me in good stead going forward to become a news reporter or an environmental correspondent that you have on the news, um, I've been blogging as well. So I have a Twitter blog, which is at Watts Blog, um, or alternatively, Harry Watts' Geography Blog for the longer version. Um, I can spell geography, G E O G. Yes, like, like that. There you go. Yeah, the G's meant to go in there, but I've ran out of G's. So, this is a place where I'm tweeting, retweeting, just posting my thoughts and opinions in the ever changing world that we're living in. Um, and yeah, I'm a, I'm a real climate activist and I care about all these environmental issues that we're suffering with at the moment. So, this is the place where I'm writing a lot of my comments and things. So, that is a good place to start looking the kind of things that I'm doing. Um, so I'm here just to talk to you about what I've been doing in lockdown. Um, now I'm obviously not really studying. Um, essentially I was meant to have my first exam a couple of days ago in English Literature. I think we were doing a fellow. Um, great play, doing really well with it and unfortunately that's all fell through. You're making the most of my time. I've made a pond and I've made a bug hotel which I will show you now. And I am also a cat person. So here's my cat. This is Smudger. Smudger, say hello to the camera. They, Smudger. There you go. Um, and if you are wondering why I've got a hat on, it's because of this. If you can't see, yeah, I had a bit of a lockdown trim. I've had a bit of a lockdown nightmare. So the hat is covering up quite nicely. Okay, so this is my pond. Um, it has looked cleaner in past days, but because it's very windy today, you've got quite a lot of this like cruds and stuff over the top but down there you can see are my fishes uh, he unfortunately has got an infection thing in his head uh, I don't know if you can see that but yep yeah, so we separated him and we're basically going to put him in a bit of a bigger tank with another pump for a bit so he doesn't infect the others um, this is like our little flower patch that we have in our garden as well which is blossoming really nicely and we've got a nice mysteria plant here and we have going back at the house as well we've got a nice mysteria going on up there so this is our garden and this is my bug hotel so me and my dad made this about a week ago now uh, there's some pictures on my blog of it but yep so you've got really kind of wet oak bark here it's eroded um and degraded quite nicely with some bamboo sticks for small creatures to crawl into um again got quite a combination of rotting bark wood like this um you know it's it's nice and moist in there and it should um, bring in a lot of invertebrate animals um so we're looking at slugs spiders ants um Cat caterpillars all those kind of really small ones I mean down here we've got our log pile um, again really nice wood um, got it all from the local um, local woodland which is really good so I'm lucky where we live here we have all that to hand I haven't just been building things I'm creating things in lockdown I have been reading um, personal favorite um, obviously I was doing English literature and we were studying the handmaid's tale by Margaret Atwood as one of our set prose texts I read the testaments by, um, by Margaret Atwood, who has got the, uh, the Book of Prize Award for 2019. Absolutely brilliant book. So I read this in, must have been like three days. Loved it, loved The Handmaid's Tale. I think these both books are so relevant and they're so dystopian, but yet true to the world we're living in today and the way that we are progressing with inter interconnectivity with technology and the way women are looked at in society. I feel these books have still got a very deep yet relevant message to them and we're far from the equality balance that we all strive to have. Um, I also read Into Thin Air, um, I was inspired to read this after I came back from my 
trip with India uh, with World Challenge in 2019. Um, so I went for three and a half weeks to India and we summited the Stock Kangri mountain range in the Himalayas, uh, which is incredible, so it's about 20,000 feet. And also, I can show you this. Um, here's a photo of me at the summit. That is me. Um, I had a really terrible time on the way up there. Um, I felt really sick, really ill. I had some sort of um, high altitude sickness, but I did it. It was an 11 hour round trip from going up and down, and it was an amazing experience. I feel like it is important though, um, as I'm just introducing myself really now in this um, video, that I play you a couple of the videos I made summarising the photos I got from each trip. So they're from Leh, when we went, so Leh is the northern part of India, um, sits at roughly 5,000 metres, so we had to just acclimatise just being in that environment. Um, it drops quite considerably, it's either 3,000 or 5,000, in between that. Um, and then one's in Agra, humid, humid Agra, where the Taj Mahal is. Absolutely fantastic, one of the eight, eight is it ones of the world something like that so that was fantastic and i'll play those two videos now insane and it was an amazing laugh so but that is all I'm gonna do for today this video has probably gone on a bit longer than I would have hoped um, but that's an introduction of me some of my passions some of the things I enjoy doing in my spare time at the moment um, and I'm sure I will do something else in the future but that's an introduction to me I've been Harry Watts thank you very much